Welcome back to the Real Estate News. The lovely Jerry Colucci is here with Equitable Property Management. We're so happy to see you today, Jerry. Thank you. As usual, I'm glad to be back. Well, anyone who's watched our show knows we love analogies at the Real Estate News. So in that vein, we're talking about the garden of property management today. So tell us, you know, why do you use, why do you choose the analogy of a garden for, for property management? Well, honestly, I was sort of racking my brain to come up with a way that would be easy to explain to investors about how a property can flourish and become real income producing. And I see the investment property as the seed and equitable property management as the soil. And then the flower being the investment property appreciating over time while the tenant is in place. Okay. Now, is it a good time for investment-minded people to buy rental property and, you know, yeah. kind of plant the seed? It is a really good time. And as most realtors will tell you, the prices are good and the mortgage rates are good. But what's also good is that we have a lo the lowest um, in 13 years of available rental properties. Oh, wow. And so we have many, many tenants looking for properties, which of course, when supply is low and demand is high, Higher it, rents. it will raise that's the rents. Right. And so that's pretty much what's happening now is that we don't have enough rental properties to go around. So it's a good time for someone to maybe buy their retirement home or just buy an investment property that they hope to maybe flip in three or four years. Mm -hmm. But this is definitely a good market to buy a house and to rent a house. Absolutely. Now, yeah. you've mentioned before, but I think it bears repeating, you know, uh -huh. what house variables make a property a better rental? the same old ones, a minimum of three bedrooms. We do have several people ask for four bedrooms, but most people can do with three bedrooms if it has two and a half bathrooms and has some kind of family room either attached to the kitchen or a separate family room above a garage, but people do like the traditional living room, dining room, it's moderately sized eat-in kitchen. Now also what's really, really critical is people want a garage and they usually want a closed in garage because a lot of people here use their garage for storage mm -hmm. because we don't have many, we don't have any basements and we have very few houses that have usable attics. So a garage is really important for someone who's looking for a property. The other thing is amenities, at least to have a pool in the community. Um, if there aren't any playgrounds or tennis, people can find that elsewhere, but it's hard to have a pool accessible if it's not in your community. And lastly, if you have a choice between getting a gated community with a house or a not a gated community, always lean toward gated because there's a sense of security, especially from someone who's relocating. Okay. So a gated community is really important. Perfect. Now, are you? this is the most important yeah. question of the day. Are you accepting new clients? We are with open arms, frankly. We're looking for single, single family homes, which are renting fairly quickly to a population of renters who don't want to own anymore or are relocating or moving to the area for a year and deciding where to buy. So right now, the most popular thing is a single family home around 2,000 square feet in a gated community. Perfect. Well, and thank you as usual, Jerry. And here's hoping that the spring analogies will finally bring on some spring weather for us, Wouldn't right? Wouldn't that be lovely? I'm tired of cold. <laughs> Me too. Well, thank you for your time today. Thanks.